Hello everyone, welcome back to CM42 TV. We're here today to talk about Extreme Rules from last night, another wrestling video. I say another wrestling video. When's the last? I don't know. I, I do so many videos these days, I lose track of what I've done. So this is kind of a vlog style, as you can see, for today's video, just because uh, I've had some issues with my tripod. I bought a tripod right off Amazon. that done me for about six months of the year. I bought it in January. Done me up until June, through the snow, through everything. It was great. One of the best buys I've done all year. Then, uh, then it broke. You know, naturally it wasn't. You know, wasn't very expensive. You know, and I knew it was coming. Six months is a respectable time for a cheap tripod. So I just replaced it. You know, with a new one. Got the same thing. Hoping to do me until December. Hope, hoping to do me when I'm in Orlando for my holiday, for my vacay. And uh, it lasted me three weeks. Three weeks. It broke before I could even go to Orlando. So I was a bit raging. And then I was gonna you know, do the whole Amazon complain thing. And try to get my money back. Uh, but, but then I was going to Orlando like the next day and I just couldn't be bothered, you know, worrying about it even though I was going on holiday or even doing it now that I'm back from holiday and I don't know. And then France won the World Cup, who I had on in a bet, so I kind of made my money back plus more. So I suppose it's not the end of the world. But anyway, uh, I'm back from Orlando, back from Florida. I had a great time. Thank you very much for asking. Um, there will be some vlogs posted. Um, I know if, you know, there may not be very well viewed or whatever but it's fine it's just want to do some some new and different content i thought i'd be quite cool some vlogs from another place so maybe three or four not you know i'm not gonna absolutely spam it but three four maybe five um vlogs from my time there in orlando the past two weeks had a great time and i'm sure you'll see a lot of it through the vlogs i've already got one up when i visited disney springs on like my second night there so that's like a little sort of walkway lots of shops kind of like a disney version of a city walk mall sort of thing so, uh, they're just short wee daft vlogs of just some random videos that I deem appropriate to put on YouTube. So, not, not saying that all my other vlogs are totally inappropriate, but you know what I mean. I don't really want, you know, <laughs> I don't know what I would want. But you, there's, there's videos that you take with your family and stuff and you go, maybe I don't want to put that on YouTube. Just as a privacy sort of thing. This is not about Extreme Rules, by the way. Um, but yeah, just, just warning you, there'll be some vlogs, a few vlogs anyway from my Orlando trip, plus a haul coming soon of all the stuff that I picked up from Orlando. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to keep this up, you know, um, mentioning the pay-per-views and the wrestling shows that I was, I've was i been watching over the past year, obviously, the new pay-per-views. And uh, I was lucky enough that I'm so jet-lagged that I've been able to sleep, you know, one night and then last night watching Extreme Rules um, was fine because obviously I'm jet-lagged and I'm used to being up at that time, but... I just couldn't get to sleep after it. I was not, you know, because it was such an amazing show, just because jet lag kicks in and it messes with you. But um, yeah, I was up so late last night, couldn't sleep. Slept in today. Not good. But anyway, uh, Extreme Rules last night was, it was a good show, respectable show, very solid, very fair. Um, unpredictable outcomes, as I kept seeing on Twitter, which is good. Um, and I thought the matches were okay. There was, there was no, you know, sort of huge show stealers biggest moment of the night that i can think of right now kevin owens taking that bump off the steel cage is pretty cool um obviously it's not as extreme as as shane mcmahon or whoever they like jumping off the cell or whatever but it was in pittsburgh don't know if it was the same arena i don't think it was but uh the same place as mick foley's big tumble so maybe that was a little sort of homage to that when's the last time you've seen a choke slam off of some sort of cage through a table to the outside so huge bump Glad they did it, you know, memorable moment, go down in history, you'll see that a lot, um, and that was good, that was actually one of the better matches on the show, the, the cage match, that was booked really well. <clears throat> they had the return of Randy Orton, uh, finally being heel, not that I was particularly wanting to be a heel, but I, I don't mind, Randy Orton's evergreen now, isn't he, he's just, you know, it's Randy Orton, it's like John Cena, it doesn't matter what he does, it's just, he's there, and that's good, because he's one of the best of all time. And then he came back, turned on Jeff Hardy. I'm worried about Jeff, and not because I think he's going to get drunk again or, or pretend that a WWE pay-per-view is, is now called Victory Road. I'm not going to... I don't think anything like that, but I think he's hurt. And he doesn't want to, you know... Oh, oh. Uh, I thought we had... A po I thought it was the postman. It was not the postman. Bring me a new tripod. Good. Um, <laughs> I think he's hurt. And I think he's hiding the fact that he's hurt. Watch this space. I think we'll be, we'll be, uh, Jeff will be leaving us very soon. He was off for a while with a, with a sore shoulder and um, he came back and stuff and he won the US title and that's great and he's doing the, the face paint. I want him to use no more words 
Um, gets like the sort of Jeff Hardy main event theme song. But there's something up with his knee, or it may be his ankle, or, or something. I don't know. There's something wrong with Jeff um, that I don't like. So hopefully he's okay. But I just, I, I, I can sense it. I sensed it with Daniel Bryan a few years ago. I just knew he was going to get taken out again. Um, and I think it's going to happen with Jeff, which is sad. Touch wood. Because, you know, Jeff's one of my favourites ever, but it just seems so... Shinsuke is the new US champion, which is good, because Shinsuke's doing really well as a heel. Um, but, you know, I, I'm hoping to see another match that's, that's properly, you know, good, that actually happens between Jeff and Shinsuke, which I'm sure will happen eventually. So I wasn't too fussed about, you know, the sort of daft finish. I knew they were going for a 30-minute match, you know what I mean? So they had to kind of skip over a few things. And AJ and Rusev, now this is an interesting one as well, I was I was happy that Roman and Bobby Lashley wasn't the main event, right? I thought it would be, because obviously Roman and Samoa Joe main event had backlash, and um, people were kind of raging about that, because, you know, the, the title should be the main event. Well. But then we found out that the main event was going to be the Intercontinental title match, and I can't remember the last time, I actually googled it, I can't remember the last time the Intercontinental Championship main event at a pay-per-view, I can't remember, and that's great! You know, it should be like that. You know, if the if the world title isn't main event or the WWE title isn't main event, that should be the sort of next championship to do so. I remember there was a pay per view a few years ago. I think it was No Mercy sixteen, and it was Ziggler and Miz, and they had this big great storyline about Ziggler put his career on the line, and Miz was on this great title run and stuff, and uh, they put the WWE title match on first to sort of to avoid ratings clashing or whatever with a with a presidential debate or a football game or something. So there was an opportunity for something else to main event and it ended up being Randy Orton main event and the Intercontinental title match that was this big long half an hour match that was awesome, the crowd were going mental, this big storyline or whatever, there was so much in line which was placed in the middle of the card and everybody said that should have been the main event, that was the time for the Intercontinental title to finally be the main, or one of the main points of the show, it, mean, you know, it mattered so much or whatever and it wasn't the case and folk were going, oh that should have been the main event. Some two years later... It maybe doesn't mean as much as it did back then because it was a huge angle they were doing. It was really good. However, the Intercontinental title this past year has, has skyrocketed. It's been great with Roman and Miz and Rollins and, and now Ziggler again. And having Drew back is great and having the main event and stuff and having these great matches on television is now able to main event. And that's great, you know, the Intercontinental title's main event. And it was like a half an hour Iron Man match, which is again a, a rare stipulation. You don't get that very often. So that's good. However, I was thinking, well, if that's the main event, then AJ and, and Rusev, what are they going to be doing? You know, they were, they were semi-main, which is fine again. But I just think, you know, here's me saying, and I got no title in the main event, yes. But the WWE title was still defending on the show. The, the, the WWE title is the main title. So that should have went on last. The match was really good between Rusev and, and AJ, and I thought Rusev actually looked quite angry, the fact that it wasn't the main event. But, you know, there wasn't a title switch, and I was thinking, okay, well, that means Rollins are going to win the title in the main event then. That is like the excuse for going on last. Happy finish, big finish, big pop, Rollins wins. But no, the Iron Man match ended, sudden death. I knew they were going to sudden death, I called it. But I thought they were going to do sudden death like another 10 minutes. That would have been great. Now, don't even get me started ranting on, on the audience. Um, thinking they were the feckin' Royal Rumble and, and ruining the match. You I don't oh, See, as an audience and as a crowd at a wrestling event, you have a responsibility... To make your show one of the best of the year. You know? Um, so I was just gutted the fact that they, they started doing the countdown and stuff. They took away the clock, which just made them more angry. And just... It just ruined which could have been one of the best matches of the year. So that was a shame. But I'll talk about that another day. But overall, Extreme Rules was really good. Good at most anyway. And I look forward to SummerSlam in five weeks. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned for lots more stuff. Especially... The Orlando vlogs, which are coming uh, over the next couple of weeks. So, yeah, I hope you liked Extreme Roads. I certainly did, and I'll be back very soon with some more videos. Thank you very much for watching. You can follow me on Twitter at CM42TV. Until next time, folks, take care of yourselves.